Amongst the many topics that truly fascinate me, the one that I'm about to discuss is by far the most mind-bending of them all. We all have a theory about the origins of our universe and more importantly the human race. But many of these beliefs tend to be based on what we are taught and indoctrinated to believe rather than what we experience as reality. Now before I continue, let me state that I'm not a theoretical physicist or have a scientific background. Most of my theories are purely based on personal research and what I feel might be the truth behind our existence. So for the duration of this video, I ask that you keep an open mind and temporarily abandon any preconceived beliefs that you might currently hold. If you are devoutly religious, then some of this information will most likely not sit well with you, and I totally understand that. But always remember that the greatest ignorance is the rejection of something you know very little about and yet refuse to investigate. The only way to progress forward is to always question everything. So what is simulation theory? Well, this is a theory proposing that all of reality as we know it, including the Earth and the universe, is in fact an artificial simulation playing itself out on some very powerful computer. Now, this might seem like a crazy idea at first, but if you really think about it, we are already on the path to one day being able to recreate a simulated version of our own universe. We have gone from playing simple two-dimensional games like Pong released by Atari in 1972 all the way to photorealistic games like Grand Theft Auto and Call of Duty to mention a few. With the exponential progress in computing power and technology, it makes sense that the games of tomorrow will be indistinguishable from our own reality. Hello, I'm Siren and I'm a digital human. I was created by an international team of artists and engineers who wanted to challenge our ideas of what a synthetic human could be. But you might argue that no matter how realistic and advanced these games become, they are still just a game full of characters with no consciousness, self-awareness or free will. Now this might be the case for now, but what happens when we reach a level of general artificial intelligence and have the ability to create characters that can think for themselves? According to futurist Ray Kurzweil, general AI will be achieved by the year 2029 and if this is the case, then the characters in the games of the future will be self-aware and able to reason and think for themselves. So from this perspective, there is a very strong possibility that we ourselves are nothing more than general AI characters in an extremely advanced game, most likely created by super artificial intelligence. I also believe that the creators of our simulation designed our species with limitations in order to see how long it would take us to advance to the point of total technological enlightenment. With recent breakthroughs in gene editing and biotechnology, we are even getting closer to reversing the aging process and potentially becoming immortal. With the invention of quantum computers, we'll be able to solve complex world problems that were deemed impossible by previous generations. In my opinion, the creators of our simulation, in this case, a more technologically advanced version of ourselves, created our universe and everything in it with a set of rules and parameters that can be manipulated, depending on how far along the technological scale we are. The simulations will be governed by a set of laws that we as creators will decide upon, and the characters in the game will believe that they exist because within the constructs of this game, they are alive, conscious, and self-aware. So, how is this any different to our own existence? We are self-aware, therefore believe we exist. We also believe that we're made of flesh and bones and that everything around us is made of solid matter. But according to quantum physics, an atom only appears if you measure it. In other words, an atom is spread out all over the place until a conscious observer decides to look at it. So the act of measurement or observation creates our reality. If you look at your current surroundings, it is all there because you're observing it. Just like a computer game will only render the graphics that are required for that particular scene. Outside of your current reality, nothing really exists until it is observed. For many of you, this theory might seem a little disturbing and hard to accept. But the simulation we're in is so advanced that existing inside of it feels very normal and organic. It provides us with everything we need to make a great life for ourselves and experience every facet of our existence. So let's assume that our universe is a simulation within another simulation and so on. There could be millions or even trillions of simulations before us. So who then created the very first simulation that set all of this into motion? 
I guess at this point, if you are religious, then you would be inclined to say that God created us and the universe. Well, this is a tricky question because the human race has worshipped many different gods throughout history, and even in today's modern society, every culture has their own version of who or what God is. Also, every religious denomination believes that they are worshipping the true God and Creator. But let's say for argument's sake that someone or something did create the very first simulation. In my humble opinion, I don't believe that it's the kind of God depicted in religious doctrine or any God-like entity for that matter. I see it more as a highly intelligent source of energy that is compelled to create without ever interfering in its own creation. No judgment, no punishment, and no need for glory or recognition. Every human on this planet inherently knows right from wrong because it is programmed within the code that makes us who we are. If someone does become evil, it is usually caused by environmental factors or there is simply a malfunction in their code. We are a general artificial intelligence and therefore have free will and are able to make our own choices. The more advanced our simulation becomes, the better choices we will make, eventually solving every single problem that we face today. As a species, we have accomplished many incredible things but are yet to reach our fullest potential. If we are living in a virtual reality, then we have an opportunity to one day conquer the game of life and achieve anything we put our minds to. Now before I finish this video, please understand that these theories are my own and I don't expect anyone to agree with me. We all have the right to our own opinions and I would love to know what you guys think about the simulation theory. I thank you all for watching and until next time, do me a favor and be good to each other.